Joe and Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. Today's video is a review for Robin and Batman number one. Uh, this is a book from DC Comics. Let's talk about the team a little bit. This is written by Jeff Lemire with art by Dustin Wynn and letters by Steve Wan. Uh, so this book is the story of a young Dick Grayson uh, struggling to find his way very early in his career, uh, but in this dark new world, now that he's, you know, unfortunately he's been orphaned. So we're going back to a, a throwback to a Robin and Batman story. So this is set very early on Robin's career, uh, almost as, you know, like pretty much quickly after he was adopted by Bruce Wayne. He's been trained by Batman, uh, but it's only being allowed into the field, like as we get to the story. So he still has a lot of inexperience. Uh, he's poorly prepared for battle, and Batman still feels like in order to protect him, he has to bench him. But uh, Dick wants to prove Batman wrong. And to do that, not only does he need the skills, but he needs a new costume, which I thought it was a pretty interesting part of the uh, of, of the comic. So uh, so this comic, I mean, look, listen, let me tell you right now. Uh, we, I'm a big fan of Jeff Lemire and Dustin Wynn as a team. Uh, so when I saw that this book was coming out, I was very excited. And you can kind of tell here by the cover, the art, like the paneling here, like all these little, like this here is all you need to know going into the story, this page. And I think uh, whenever a comic can do that, uh, interestingly, I think that it's very open to uh, readers, very new reader friendly which I think it's a big, big thing that sometimes we miss in comics, that they're not new reader friendly. You know, Stanley would say everybody's comic can be their first comic. So uh, so this definitely feels like that. This is only one of three uh, books that will come out. So it's it's oversized. It's not supersized. It's oversized. I believe it's about 34 pages. Um, so let's go into the book and the story. So I got to say, look, I'm a big fan of Dustin Wynn's colors. Uh, I mean, his art and the colors, uh, the the wa the water color texture feel. If you read uh, Descender or Ascender, uh, which are both books by the same team, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I love it here. I love the, the little panel zooming in and then pulling out into this big action piece. Uh, you could just hear that kick. Uh, which I find very interesting as opposed to uh, some big uh, sound effect. We just have that, like the word balloon of the slap or the sound or the kick. Uh, so I like that very much. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm being completely honest. I'm very biased towards this team. So, you know, take the review with that grain of salt. Uh, but but I'm, I'm a big fan for a reason, right? Let's take a look at the, these pages here. Uh, so. We've always known, known Dick to be skilled, but he's also a little cocky sometimes. And this is perfectly per, like demonstrated here. I love Batman showing up in the Batmobile. Like, you know, Dick is like, yeah, I got this. And then like, no, you don't. And then he has to kind of come in and close out the issue. Like, uh, yeah, it's really good. Uh, so this, this issue is a lot about the relationship between Robin and Batman at that time. Uh, you know, Batman at this point hadn't really had a partner uh, or anyone other than uh, Alfred. Uh, and, but also, the book not only plays on the relationship between Batman and Robin, but one of the more important pieces, at least something I really enjoy, is the relationship between Alfred and uh, Alfred and uh, uh, Robin or uh, Dick Grayson. Uh, here, I want to show these two panels for comparison, and the pages aren't back to back in the book. But that's just kind of the way I picked them out. Uh, so we have on one side, this is the right back with Batman from that, uh, I would call it a failed attempt at an outing. And then we have the right back with Alfred from school the next day uh, in which, you know, Bruce didn't pick him up from school. So that means that he's probably still upset. Uh, but look at the difference that, you know, like the small non-existent conversation the coloring, the mood that it sits on one side with Batman. Uh, and then we have the dialogue and the coloring and just how much more, uh, 
I don't know. Like, I love this parallel. I think it's superbly done by the team. Um, let's check out a few more panels and then we wrap up. Uh, so here we have Robin figures out his own uh, a costume that he wants. This is based on his old Flying Grayson's outfit. Uh, and he got himself into trouble, you know, and that's kind of what Batman had been going back to. But I love how I love this shot, this big shot of uh, Killer Clock, Killer Croc and Robin. Uh, you could just kind of see the the size disparity, and Killer Croc looks menacing. This is an excellent design. I really like it. Uh, but there's definitely a lot more setup for this uh, that I won't go into because it could be a little bit spoilery. Uh, so yeah, I I love this issue. I think this is just going to be one of my, I can already tell just these three issues are going to be probably some of my favorite Batman Robin stuff that has come out in a little while. And there's a lot of good stuff because there's a lot of really cool Robins. Uh, I'm also reading the Robins book that's coming out through the Unlimited uh, that was the winner of the Round Robin competition. So yeah, I'm very excited for this. Uh, but let me know what you thought of this book. Uh, we will have more reviews. We had some advanced reviews this week for Image and Boom Comics. Uh, also, some Scout comic stuff. Uh, we'll have more stuff uh, for Marvel as well coming up in the week, specifically that Venom number one issue. Uh, but let me know what you thought here. Let me know if you picked up any of the DC books that I should be reading or you want us to review maybe. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. Check out our Patreon. We have a link in the description. Anything you can throw helps. Uh, so thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.